Tonight, a motion from the family of Ronald Green as they demand accountability from Governor John Bell Edwards and state police for his death and the subsequent investigation. The Baton Rouge chapter of the NAACP and the National Bar Association joined the family in calling on the governor to resign. News 10's Ariel Salk has more. You wouldn't accept your child being put, cremated, and sent FedEx to you due to a murder. How in the hell do you think we're going to accept it? Nearly three years ago, Mona Hardin got the worst call a mother could get. Death by a car wreck. It was almost immediately after that that we saw it was a total different story. Her tragedy turned into a nightmare when she discovered her son died while in the custody of the Louisiana State Police. Those who had their hands on my son, who without care, you literally beat and tortured my son to death. I go back and I can't help but hear my son screaming to know that my son knew he wasn't going to walk away. That weighs heavy on me. Leaked text messages from Edwards have Green's family and supporters point to a cover-up. I'm sickened. I'm disgusted. Now Green's family is calling on him and others connected to his death to resign. Gig is up. Time is up. And we're calling for justice now with dismay that we're calling on the governor to resign. In response to the alleged cover-up, Governor Edwards insisted in a news conference last week, quote, I have never told anyone, public or private, that Mr. Green died in a car wreck. This case is still under investigation by the Department of Justice. A select committee has been formed to investigate the state's handling on all levels of the Ronald Green incident. Governor Edwards responded to the committee saying he welcomes any legislative oversight and he hopes this will be a productive, nonpartisan discussion of how to continue the ongoing reforms at Louisiana State Police.